Hi, Bob. This is Jim Gillis with Win My Vote and wanted to talk with you about creating a group page and becoming a trusted source here on Win My Vote. Um, also, wanted to talk with you about getting you know all of your candidates that you endorse um, up on Win My Vote as well and into the races that they're running for, uh, as well as all of the endorsements and um, you know there's a there's a variety of other things I can talk with you about that are in more detail on how to leverage our site, but um, we can do that live. I'll try to keep this uh, video short. So Win My Vote is a national voter guide, but it's it's much more than that. It's sort of a home page for everything voting. Um, and as a voter, I can sign up for free with just a social media account or an email address. I enter my zip code, and then that zip code places me in specific voting districts. And if there's any conflict or overlap, uh, then there's resources on our sign-up page to make sure that the voter gets into the correct district. And with that, we can produce a sample ballot for the voter that goes from the national races uh, down to the state races and then through uh, congressional districts and state and state assembly and state senate districts and down to the county level races and board of supervisors city council you know all the way down to school board races and with this as a voter you know i can click on the candidate's profile i can see you know some basic information about the candidate i can look at their bio I can you know, watch videos. I've always been familiar with poverty. And I can see the latest tweets here. I can also see uh, some issue statements that the candidate uh, has built here. When I got to Wellesley, I was very nervous about being... And with that, I can also go up and I can see here groups and organizations that I have selected as a trusted source I can see their endorsements of this candidate. So I can click here. Hi, this is Randy Weingarten. As many of you know, your elected representatives are AFT. And you know, again, I can then go through and see you know, the other candidates on, on my way, as well as all of their um, endorsements that I have selected. So here are my trusted sources. And when I click here, I have a list of my trusted sources that I've already selected as trusted sources, and then a library here that can be either you know through popularity or through alphabetical order of you know, local sources and state sources and national sources. And I can go down here and I can you know, check them off and, uh, and and add those to my list of, of groups and organizations that I want to see. Um, so building a group page is is real simple. I'll uh, I'll show you one here that uh, I've already sort of built as a demo. So let's go to Jim's group. Uh, and then, you know, it's very similar to like a candidate page where you have some basic information here that I haven't filled out yet. Uh, but you have a, you know, a video here. Hi, and welcome to Win My Vote. And then I, the, Twitter, the uh, Twitter feed is here. And then these are some of the candidates that this group, that my group has uh, endorsed in the past. And again, this is just a, a demo ballot. Um, but it functions the same way. So this would be your group. And when you click on Make Endorsements, you would see the candidates. And if you wanted to endorse uh, Jill Stein, you click there. It says, do you want to do a video or a written endorsement? You can do a cut and paste of the YouTube share URL in here. Uh, or you can do you know, a written one here and you can add links and images and videos and uh, whatever you want. And then on the uh, the down ballot races, you can click on the state, say California, say you wanted to endorse um, a guy named Ian in the school board race in San Francisco. So you'd start typing in Ian, his profile would pop up, you'd click on the star. And the same process. You can add either the video or you can do you know, the text version here and then just hit publish. Uh, and then everyone who selects your group as a trusted source will be able to go through their ballot. Let me switch back to Jim the voter. And as I go through my ballot, I'll be able to see. You know, these are again the groups, and I can click on Jim's group, and it looks like they have favorited Jill, but they haven't uh, done a written or a video. 
We'll check on Cornell West. He's done a video. Um, you are endorsing Dr. Jill Stein. You were a surrogate for. Yeah, and I can watch that. And then again, I can favorite if I want. And I can also do this on propositions and measures. And here in San Francisco, we have 25, 26 measures. And in California, there's 17 propositions. So it's, it's unmanageable. Um, but with this, I can click on Prop 55. I can see a summary of Prop 55. I can read more if I want. I can scroll down. And I can also click here, which is a, a one minute, you know, uh, neutral video. So I'll see what that's all about. Prop 55 in one minute taxes for education. Four years ago, a tax on the wealthy was passed to help fund education. It was supposed to be temporary. Wow, and I can say great. And then I can also look at groups and organizations that are voting yes. And let's say I'm a member of the California Teachers Association and I follow them really closely. I can click here and see what they have to say. It wasn't that long ago. Years of devastating cutbacks to our schools. 30,000 teachers laid off. Class sizes increased. Warnings. No new education cuts and no new taxes. Vote yes on 55 to help our children thrive. Yeah, and I can say great. And I had checked yes on the last demo. Sorry about that. So we all start as undecided. So with that, I'll click on yes, and then I'll go back to my ballot, and I'll see a nice, you know, green here. And obviously, just for demo purposes, I'll show you. You can change your mind, and it, you know, it's, then it's clearly marked as no. And then you can see here, there's two percent yes, zero percent one because it's there's more than a hundred people, um, and then ninety-eight percent are still undecided, you know, on this proposition. So. From a group's standpoint, you can get a real good idea. Uh, send an invite out to all your members. Tell them to go sign up for Win My Vote. It's totally free. And select you as a trusted source. And then as they go through their ballot, they'll be able to reference all of your endorsements right there and then make the decision right there. Uh, and then they can you know, go find their polling place and they can get reminders. They can also see important dates. Uh, so for example, Tuesday, uh, tomorrow, October 11th, City Hall opens for early voting. Um, you know, there's there's things like that where um, you know finding out that information is very very difficult. And here it's just sort of at your fingertips. You can find out that there's weekend voting, you know, and a variety of other options there. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, and we'd love to uh, to talk with you a little bit more about it. I uh, I essentially built the site with with groups like yours uh, in mind. You know, to really to really move the political um, campaigning, you know, um, atmosphere from the you know television, radio, and Facebook, which are wildly expensive to get your message out, you know, tried to build a level playing field, uh, and now you know we all have to play on this field, and if we can do that, uh, then you know everyone gets a fair shot, um, and you know I think that it would be much better for for everyone. I know as a voter, what I really want to do is know when my when the election is, where my polling place is, you know what races I need to uh, to vote on, you know, and who are the candidates that are in those races. And then I'll give each one of the candidates, you know, five minutes or so, and then I'll pick my favorite. Um, anyway, would uh, would love to talk with you, and uh, I'll make myself available uh, just about any time. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.